Hey guys, so today I'm going to take you to one of my soup meal preps for mushroom soup this time. So first I'm going to cut up uh, one large onion. So for all my recipes I always like to do full onions instead of leaving halves here and there. So sometimes recipes have like three quarters or half an onion. I always just like to use one small one, one large one or two small ones etc. Not to uh, waste any ingredients. But yeah, so once it's cut up, I soften that up in the pot. And once that is softening up, I start cutting up my mushrooms. So this time I decided to just half them. And of course you can make them into quarters or even just chop them up really small. Um, and the smaller you make them, the less it'll take you to cook them, of course. So I was a bit lazy here this time, just to save time in terms of the cutting rather than boiling. But if you want to make them smaller, you'll be able to save some time toward the end when it comes to actually cooking and boiling them. And yeah, just remember to mix up your onions uh, while they're cooking, um, while you're cutting up the mushrooms so that they don't burn up to the bottom of your pot. So once I've cut up all my mushrooms, I put them back in the shiv and then give um, the onion a good mix again and add in a large teaspoon of garlic. I personally love garlic, uh, so I put quite a lot. You can put a bit less if you are not a big fan, but I don't think there can ever be enough garlic or too much at least of garlic. And then once you mix up the garlic with the onion, add in your mushrooms as well and mix them up well and cook it so that they brown up a bit um, on the surface. And remember that mushrooms will always lose a lot of volume, so like even though you think you have a lot, uh, it still won't be as much as you think. And then once the mushrooms have browned up, add in two to three um, tablespoons of flour, which will give a nice uh, thicker texture to the soup. I actually only added two here, but I ended up having to add extra one later on, so I would say three is quite good amount for this. And then add in about one liter of water, just enough to cover up the mushrooms. And of course, the more you put in, the more liquidy your soup will be. And once that is mixed up, also add in two um, vegetable stock cubes um, for some nice flour. You can even put three um, if you wish, but I thought two will be good this time but you can always taste it up and see what you think and then once that is all in there you want to boil that until you feel that all your mushrooms are quite soft and personally i feel like i left mine a bit too hard still so i would say make sure that your mushrooms are properly um Probably boiled and then you want to smash them up and then put the soup back on the heat and add about four to five tablespoons of cream for like a really nice creamy texture and then I added in some parsley as well about three tablespoons I would say and then I just give it a good taste to see if I feel like anything needs to be added and as you can see here I'm adding a bit of the flour in um, just to make it a bit thicker I'd say added one extra tablespoon so and um, three will be the total for this recipe and once that's added in I just whisk it up a bit uh, to mix up the flour that I added in and there we go we're done and then I'm just adding it into my container to cool it down um, before putting it in the fridge and there you go voila down for the week